So it has come round to that time again, the time of the end of August, the time of going back to school, going back to college. And there is obviously a difference between year 11 and year 12, so here are some things that you can prepare for and things to expect. There is more free time, there are free sessions in the day and even days off. This is very exciting because there will be the cafe, college common room, library, places to see in town and days off you'll think, yeah I've got all the time to do what I want. You can spend your free time eating muffins and biscuits or cookies or eating food. I'm going to suggest, however, using your free time more productive. Use this time to finish off your work, as in your classwork. If your teacher is free, go and ask if you need help. Because teachers are happy to help, they're happy to answer questions. Make your revision resources, do admin like if you have a presentation to make, a speech to write, an assembly to prepare for. All those things, because then if you're getting distracted, at least you're still being productive. Next, instead of exercise books, you will have folders. You need to keep your folders organised. I have videos on organising my folders if you need help, though you do need to keep them organised so you've not got loose notes which can get crumpled running around your bag. Have a home folder. For all your different subjects. I have one for all my different subjects with dividers. And have a day folder for taking into college or school. At home, keep sheets from your teachers that are no longer needed, put your revision resources in there. In your day folder, store all sheets that you're bringing in or need to be brought in, and your rough notes. Ring binders and slimline folders are ideal for a day folder. And for a home folder, either a really big ring binder or a lever arch folder. And a pad of refill paper. And you're going to write your notes. Get coloured biros or fine liners. Come up with a colour code for your revision resources and for your rough notes. And that's your good to go with notes. Transfer your notes into your revision resources and into your home folder. What we don't want to happen is loads of scrumpled up notes in the bottom of your bag. And you will have put food in there. So it could be a bit yucky. You have put stuff on the top so they've creased and ripped. Put a ba bottle of drink in meaning that it could have leaked and that's notes messed up. So to reduce stress and redoing notes, have your folders organised. Another thing is you will have to put in work outside of the classroom. You will have independent study as well as your freeze to do extra work, to do like revision resources, homework, admin, are things you can do in that time. You will need to make your revision resources and start revising. I mean by doing that is making your revision resources like your flashcards, your mind maps, your notes, whether they're digital or handwritten. Go over the content that you've already done. Read ahead if it's a subject like science. And do practice questions. Thinking about university, I'm not saying personal statements, I'm saying think about where you want to go for uni, what you want to do. Those things are the best things to decide in year 12. 
in terms of uni. This is going to sound horrible, is you need to start revising because proper exams are coming back. It sounds scary but you sort of need to start off making your revision resources and then revising for them. However you like to revise, it's also a good idea to find out how you like to revise. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!